Hey you guys, this is Professor Vitt and we are going to cover your Philosophy 11 critical thinking paper. I'm coming to you from the dungeon. I have a little, little guy right here with me. Um, okay, so uh, let's start off. Um, this course paper is worth 20% of your final grade. So make sure you proof it and edit it and make it, you know, really super good. The due date is November the 15th at midnight. The length is four to five pages. That's a ballpark. If it's three and three quarters of a page, I'm not going to worry about it. If it's five and five quarters of a page I, or, or whatever it is, I'm not going to worry about it. It is just a ballpark. All right. Now, your citation format is going to be MLA. That includes a works cited page. Please include a works cited page. If you don't, it will ding you on your grade. All right. The governing quote for this paper is, skepticism is not a position that you stake out ahead of time no matter what. That comes from Michael Shermer, PhD in the history of science. And the general idea is that we have to make up our mind on the basis of evidence rather than what we would like to be true. So maybe we might be more skeptical by nature, but we have to be willing to commit to evidence should it present itself. All right, this paper is about Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Here are your directions. You will read Sasquatch and Unwelcome and Premature Zoological Discovery by John Bindernagel. And then you will also read Bigfoot at 50, Evaluating Half a Century of Bigfoot Evidence by Benjamin Radford. Those are both included in this packet, so they are at the end. Um, and it is extremely difficult to scroll down um, on this. Uh, so they're included right here in the back of this, of this same Ace Bigfoot packet that I gave you. Um, then, after you've read those, you're going to write your paper. So this is an ACE style essay, and that just means you're going to make three basic arguments, um, make the three best arguments that you can for the existence of Bigfoot. Then you are going to counter those arguments, and then last, you will evaluate where you stand on each one. So you present an argument, then a counter argument, and then you evaluate where you are. You do not need to research any other outside articles. Uh, Bender, Nagel, and Radford will give you plenty of material, and they'll give you the basic roadmap for the uh, for this issue. Um, all right, so this just explains the rough format a little bit more. Of what I said: three arguments in favor of Bigfoot. Make the best possible case with regard to each argument. Be charitable to your opposition. Right? Uh, employ the principle of charity. These arguments will likely come from the section Nature of the Evidence for the Existence of Sasquatch and Bindernagel's article. That's probably where they're going to be. Um, but, they can, but if you find something somewhere else within the article that you'd like to use, you're more than welcome to do so. And then you will provide a counter argument. So this is a so if above you argued um, if there are sufficient eyewitness reports of Bigfoot, then we can conclude Bigfoot exists. There's a massive database of eyewitness accounts of Bigfoot. Thus, we can reasonably conclude Bigfoot exists. If that was your argument from above, then you would counter by saying extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The existence of Bigfoot is an extraordinary claim. Thus, eyewitness testimony will not be sufficient to establish this extraordinary claim. And then you'd want to talk about why anecdotes aren't the best evidence. Pages 50 to 7, 57 to 58 within the book are a good list of factors. Um, but you'd, you'd want to include um, a little discussion on that. You don't have to cite the book, though. And then last, you evaluate the argument. So um, you state what you think, having done both sides of the issue. Now remember, and this is really important, I am not going to grade you on what your position is. Rather, I'm going to grade you on how well you argue counter and counter argue. So your evaluation is important. It tells me where you are in the issue, but you don't get a better grade because you do or you do not believe in Bigfoot. That part is irrelevant. So it's not what you believe, it's why. Okay, now this is the first article by John Bindernagel. Um, <clears throat> it's a, it's a, it's a fun little article from um, the Journal of Scientific Exploration, which is itself, um, um, it's an academic journal. Um, 
you know, it's not widely read, but it is an attempt by some of these anomalous phenomena researchers to, to employ something approaching a scientific methodology, including peer review and so forth. So, um, so it's a good, it's a good read. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So, and then also, um, Benjamin Radford's, um, article is attached to that. So that does it. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, you know, please, please, please feel free to, um, to email me. I'm happy to answer your questions. And can you say goodbye? Bye. Wave bye. Bye. Bye.